This week's recommendation is a personal recommendation. It's going to take a little bit longer because I really want to share my personal experiences with this man. His name is Christian Wood. He is an osteopath. Not only does he work with the body, but he works with the mind, the soul, the energy. There's a great little write-up about him on Goop, which really sort of um, sums up what he's about. I met Christian in June or July 2018. It was just after my mother had passed away and a girlfriend of mine had spoken about him two years prior when I was in Ibiza. When my mother passed away, she called me and she said, look, I'm sure you've got a lot of support around you. She said, but I just want you to remind you about Christian Wood. It might be worth going to see him. I was not in a good way. And I thought, I'll go and see him. So I turn up, I sit there, I cry. I, you know, I share my experience. Mum's passed away. I, I share a little bit about her childhood and her, how she was brought up in an orphanage and how she never wanted us to read her orphanage files. And then when we packed up her house, we found the files. He sort of said at that time, he said, well, you know, maybe you've got to respect what your mum, what your mum wanted. Why I'm telling you that is because it's important afterwards when he does refer to it. So I lie down and he's holding my head. And as he's holding my head, He's, he's manipulating it, but not in a painful way, or there's no cracking, none of that. And my eyes are shut. I feel like my head is the steering wheel and he's going through my body. Okay, that, not him personally, but like he's looking through my body. And then he said to me, Kelly, you know, just let your mind go. I'm working with your body, with your energy. He goes, so, you know, if you need to think about what you're having for dinner, just do that. And that was really good because it put me at, e at ease. Then I'm lying there and I, I said to myself, just concentrate on your third eye, Kelly. You know, just trying to open up a little bit more spiritually. And I'm lying there and then next minute, it was like the brightest white light just came. It was just shining on my face. And I remember just lying there and just feeling love, just love. Like it was just such a beautiful feeling at a time of a really sad feeling, you know, cause I was grieving so much and try not to cry. <laughs> but, and I remember just having my eyes shut, just thinking, like just wanting to be in it, but also thinking, oh my gosh, this is the divine. <laughs> the divine is shining his light on me. <laughs> Because I have this little mantra where I go, I surround myself with the bright white light and ask my angels and guides in the universe to protect me, guide me. I, I have my own little mantra. I was like, this is what protects me, this light. But I can't tell you how powerful it was. I guess the easiest way to, to explain Christian is quite often, it's not him working, it's a higher power working through him and giving that person what they need. Now, if you don't believe in any of this, you're going to think I'm mad. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I experienced it. And I've, I've experienced a lot of things spiritually, which I won't go into because I'll really freak you out. So he said to me, look, I just need you to know that your mum was here. When he was working on my, around my stomach on a chakra, he said that mum took his hand and put it on my head. And I just naturally just started crying. And then I told him what I felt. And I had really struggled oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. with her. Hold on. I am well aware when you're grieving and you're grieving so much that you can keep the soul here instead of letting that soul go and hopefully moving through the light. I couldn't get out of the darkness of, of grief and never ever expected to, to be so sad you know mum struggled a lot so we'd often said you know well she might pass from this or that but we we just didn't see this coming and it was cancer and it was six weeks from the time that we got told to the time she passed having that experience with with christian and feeling that love and i know that was mum he said you know i i just i i helped your mum through you know i had to show her to the light and that made me feel almost relieved because i really wanted I just, I knew I was keeping her here, if that makes sense. And then he said, I'm not gonna tell you what should happen now, how you should feel. He said, go away for the summer. He said, after the summer, come back and see me and we'll do another session. He said, but there was one thing, he said, when I spoke to you about your mum's orphanage files and I said to you, you know, maybe if that's your mum's wish, that's what you should let it go. He said, you know, I think you've got a, 
maybe look at that when the time is right because there might be a little bit of clearing for the just ancestral clearing for the for the soul for the family which i understood i understood what that meant so that was my first experience i have been seeing christian on a regular basis for the past year and a half you know christian is not just an energy healer or energy worker or osteopath i honestly feel like he is my therapist <laughs> Especially when I get so caught up in things or I'm worrying about things, he brings me back, brings my feet on the ground and he keeps me grounded and he makes me look at the bigger picture and what's important. I've been through the grief and then, you know, we had a really horrible experience um, last year where a school let us down and well, the system let us down, people let us down. As a mother, that was quite... It was traumatic. You know, I hate to associate this with Christian, but he was a big part of helping me through that. And it almost pushed me over the edge as far as, I don't know, I was on the verge of a nervous breakdown, perhaps. That with mixed with grief. I saw Christian almost weekly through that time. And I don't know what I would have done without his advice, without him working with my energy and trying to just shift the, the anger, the hurt, the different emotions that were going through my body, it has been a tough year. And I didn't want this recommendation, I don't want this to be about, oh poor me, because it's about a man who is gifted and a man who has been my rock, apart from my husband, being my rock and being a supporter and being neutral, but also bringing in the spiritual, to the physical has been so important for me. The man is a magician on so many levels and my daughter sees him. She'll go in every once a month or when she needs him. And for her, you know, she gets stressed. She works so hard at school. She dances, so she's quite tight. She calls him, he's my bestie, mum. You know, and for her, I just love that she's also got an outlet that's neutral. And she can talk to him about things that are not um, that maybe she doesn't, she won't talk to us about. My personal gain from it has felt like he's been a therapist because he has been such an important guidance. Hello, pussycat. Oh, she's at the door, he wants to come in. You know, he's guided me through some of my darkest moments. I'm going to put Christian's contact details in the description. There is a little bit of a waiting list. Please mention me, mention that I've, I've sent you or me more TV and he'll charge you double. No, <laughs> joking. I highly recommend you go and see him. And to be honest, I've told everyone and anyone I know about him because he is very, very special. And I love hearing the different experiences. You're not going to have my experience, but it will be relative and relevant to your life, whatever that experience is. So I know this it has been a totally different recommendation to my usual recommendations, but it's a really important one and it's close to my heart. And you know I love sharing what I believe in and I believe in Christian.